here I will choose two images uh, both are in pro section but if you want you can just download it from any other third party apps so this is vintage world map and the second one is Australia map okay so I will bring the vintage world map in the canvas make it bigger okay so I have placed it in the middle and I will now duplicate it click on duplicate page and in the second page I will just zoom in to the Australia part so I will just make it bigger okay so the zooming in is done now I will just zoom the page and after that make sure you have the skills here if you don't have it just press shift plus R on the keyboard to add the skill or the ruler here and just place the margin here one in the top of the Australia map and one on in the below and now I will bring the Australia map here and now I will just use the background remover after that I will make it to the same size okay just place it side by side and just decrease the size so let's check it if it is working fine or not so this one is working fine slightly decreasing will help it a bit so this one is done okay and after that I will just click on BG remover again because I want to restore some of the whites in the flag so I will click on restore and use a smaller brush size and just restore the white parts take some time to do it because you just not want to increase the white parts which are just outside the map now increase it and now I will make the stars white so this one is done I will click on cross button here now as you can see it is prominent now use the crop button to crop the lower island part ok and click on done after that when it is done now we will click on animate and as you can see there are many uh, new animations here so I will use this new one of brush and I will select let's check so the curve one looks good and after that I will just go to text add a subheading and write here Australia use white color and after that I will use a rustic front so this will be intro rust baseline will be based for this and I will bring it right here just decrease the size okay so the placement is also done now I will just animate this one also so I will use the bust font or the bust animation here and now I will click on 
the map again and right click to show the element timing okay and here I will check the add transition button and use here match and move and just drag it to the maximum point okay and now I will come to the second base here and just align it properly with the timing with the match and move timing okay this one is done now I will go for the text okay so let's see if it is working fine or not so this one is done now I will check the whole effect so this one is working fine and this is the tutorial and it is very easy to follow